Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. It is time to pay back. It is time for the leaders of Amazonia to pay to the society what they have done to the Anglophone regions of Cameroon, that is Southern Cameroon. When everything started in 2016, and they have been going with their atrocity, abuses, without any call for consent, without anybody instructing and calling them to stop. They say the international community is silent. The international community is careless about. The international community is in their support. Now, their report has started coming out. If you could have asked any Amazonian leaders that all the things that they have been doing, the Amazonian fighters have been doing, to the civilians of southern Cameroon that some people have been taking record or the international organization has been taking records they will say no they can destroy the evidence they can destroy this they can destroy that when I presented several videos and say it is a stupid idea that any little thing that happened within the struggle they post it on social media they thought that international community do not follow social media now reports have started, have started coming out. The Human Rights a, a, a Watch came out with a report. And reading through the report, all the abuses that they are accusing are all labeled against the Amazonian fighters and the leaders. It came to them as a shock or as a surprise. I can confirm to this because from the report, the Human Rights Watch, it said they struggle by all possible means after reading it, gathering their findings to reach out to the Amazonian leaders. But only one, that is Capo Daniel, responded to them. The others are ashamed. The others are surprised where the evidence are coming from. And they don't know what to do. And thank God, Capo Daniel came up and did not refuse or deny. He says, openly one of them that truly they apologize they gave send their apologies to the cbc for the killing of a nurse and through other report i did not see where he argued any of the accusation and if you don't know human rights watch is a non-governmental international non-governmental organization that is well known all over the world an organization that United Nations, United States of America, and other great nations that you look up to, calling them the international community, and looking and believe in their report. And tabling, I'm taking this and putting it, tabling it before the international community. All the Amazonian leaders will be held responsible, and even the Amazonian fighters. They listed a lot of things within that report that we are just going to rush over it. But I will be putting the writing that you can read detailed what happened and what they see. Human Rights Watch accused the Amazonia boys, the Amber boys, of burning down schools. They accused with evidence. And we have several videos that we have presented to deny it. That you do not it, it, it beat yourself or punish yourself in order to make your enemies be angry. I presented several videos talking about the strategy that the Amazonia are putting in place in order to achieve their independence. That they are all wrong strategies and they will backfire on them. None here started and they will answer for it. They accused them of killing and raping the children and civilians, the students and many other people. And you cannot count the number of people who have been killed by the Amazonia boys, calling them black legs. They accuse them of attacking university, especially the University of Bamenda. They accuse them of kidnapping people, including students and children and teachers. And 33 is two students. And if five teachers were kidnapped within January up to May 2022. They accused them of beating and threatening students. And these are a serious violation of human rights. 
with evidence. Not that they just say, oh, hear that, or oh, hear from somebody, with evidence. That they are kidnapping, a terrorizing, a killing, and raping civilians across English speaking regions with no fear of being held accountable by their leaders because their leaders are clapping for their leaders are receiving the money they are kidnapping from people their leaders are happy with the threat and the intimidation they have put because they believe it was the best strategy to gain support of the people but I keep on saying when the people turn against you most of the testimony from this report came from the sea people of southern Cameroon they testify against the atrocity of Amazonia to human rights wash. If you were together, if you were truly protecting your people, they would not open their mouth to talk against you. And that is what TFA analysis have been talking about throughout. That leaders of a separatist group should immediately, that is what they mentioned in that report, should immediately instruct their fighters to stop abusing the civilians and then to hand over abusing fighter fighter who have been causing all the atrocity for a prosecution that is why human rights a watch say that they should hand over this ambazonian fighter who have been causing a terrible things abuses to civilians that they should hand them over for prosecution for punishment for judgment and if they want to hand over, meaning all Amazonian fighters will be, they will be handed over for judgment. And Human Rights Watch is a group and a non-governmental organization that usually pressure a government, companies, policy makers to take decisions. And they will see into it, as this report is out, that these people are held responsible. And this, if this is coming, it is an indication that all Amazonian leaders and all Amazonian fighters will be held responsible. And those hiding abroad, the headquarters of the Human Rights Watch is in New York, United States of America, where many of these Amazonian leaders are found. They will be held responsible. When I started talking about this issue, their own strategy in 2018, they call me Black Lake. They call me Osorone. They say I am an agent working with the Cameroon government. But when you try to educate them, they say, who are you? Which level of education have you attained? Common sense is not from education. Common sense is a gift from God. And all of you join your hands together, thinking that you can come up over and maltreat and frustrate the lives of a group of people who were living in the pains, who were suffering, and you came to increase their suffering, thinking that you will go scot-free. You cannot be. Human rights wash. It say that between April and June 15, they interviewed more than 38 people and they all testified to the abuses and the atrocity of the Amazonian. All these people they interviewed are Southern Cameroonians. Those who started this struggle with, those who refused to take gun, but they will support you behind, but you turn around to punish them. To kidnap them, to kill them, to torture them, to rape them. And don't you say they will remain quiet? No. There is a certain kind of things that people can take, and the Amazonians have taken the quietness of southern Cameroonians for granted. And now they are about and willing to talk and resist. They are now willing to fight for their freedom from the hands of Amazonians not longer from the hands of the Cameroon government. In their report, they say that they equally saw videos and photographs posted on social media showing evidence of the atrocity of the Amazonian leaders, Amazonian boys and the leaders. So there is no way to argue because you already exposed yourself to the international community. Every little thing you jump on social media and you talk about it, you propose it, you insult yourself, you do all sorts of childish 
urge on social media, keep on calling. This is not the way you go. If there is no unity, if you believe that those who are trusting and believing that they will come to your rescue are not seeing all these things, I tell you that they are seeing it every day. And that is why they are not coming. They have gathered all that you have given them and they will use it against you. Stupid set of people. From that report, they say that between men first and ten, human rights share it, that they share their findings with representatives of three major separate groups. And then they mention the names of those they share their findings with. But they say that what? Only Kapo Daniel responded. The rest, they were surprised. Why? They thought that all the evidence were being deleted on social media. All the international community, they cannot, be, they cannot go too low to be searching and looking what is happening on social media. But they have gathered and gathered everything. From that report, there is nothing missing from January 2022 that they have not put it there, that you have done that they have not put it there. A lot of things. And many of you are surprised because you were struggling by office women to stop them not to go into the field. But now you went against your population and the population have reviews and exposed everything and give evidence and a lot of things. And all the stupidity you were doing on social media, they gather it together. <laughs> hey. ah, from that report, they also talk about that Amazonia boys a targeted Amazonia boy targets a civilian who do not observe their calls for school boycott. School boycott. I told you people in 2018, 2019, and many of my videos, I talk about it. The main objective of the United Nations organization is to reduce illiteracy in the world. And anybody who stands against that they cannot listen to that person and many organizations in the world today they are in support of education but amazonia came in and said they want to fight for the freedom of a particular group of people and then they, their first strategy was to stop their children not to go to school and they careless but they were sending their own children to school they point out that and you guys we pay it dearly for forcing innocent children, denying them their rightful right, their fundamental right. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. You talk about lockdown in their report. You force people to stay home against their own will. And then you turn around again to force them to give you money. Kidnapping them and beating them. And then you say you will not be punished. They propose that Amber boys and their leaders should be held accountable and punished for the violence enforced on the people of Southern Cameroon. You who is out there abroad, believing that you are far away where even a spiritual bullet cannot reach you now we are going to reach you human rights watch and other organizations have gathered enough report and evidence to fight you who came pretended that you want to hijack the fight that started in 2016 for the people of southern cameroon you connect with the government of Cameroon to inflict pain on the people of, Cam of Southern Cameroon. To punish them. To kill them. To destroy them. And then you say you go free. All this thing started in 2016. To fight against marginalization. To gain our federal states. But you people, the government discovered that we can go through this. Southern Cameroonians will finally succeed through this. They bought you guys. And you join it and destabilize everything. Now it's time for you to pay back. Gather what you are gathering. Don't buy guns again. Because we are going to fight you on pieces of papers. On tables. 